Okay, so this morning I'm working on my um, my corn. I have some incredible corn, which is what I have here. And I have gasp, which is um, a seed, a, some seed from uh, a friend that I had. Oh, just, he just, he's kind of a seed hoarder, but, uh, who isn't? But, uh, she got this from shortseasonseeds.com. I actually have never really looked up this company, but I'm curious to see what they sell. But anyway, this gasp is, um, <clears throat> let's say, it's a uh, very, very short season, obviously, corn, but it grows very short also. I think it's like two feet... And, um, it makes, I guess it, uh, it's ready within 50 days or something like that. So you could conceivably grow, like, a couple of crops in the same year. But this is all the seed I have. I think it's, like, 40 seeds, 41. And so, um, I'm just going to do that and see how that works. I might put this in a container because if they're so small, I don't even think that they should be in the ground and this here is country gentleman which I love to grow I've grown this a few times <clears throat> excuse me the first two times I grew it it was very satisfactory um, I tried growing it last year but it's I don't know maybe the seeds weren't good um, so it didn't do very well last year but um, we'll see what happens Hopefully it's not the seed because this is the same seed that I grew last year. And um, anyway, so I wanted to show you um, my little trick for corn. I have uh, hydrogen peroxide that I um, like to soak the seeds in. It's already got water in there. And I'm going to put a little, just a little peroxide in there. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, when you put the peroxide in the water, it helps, um, it helps, well, of course, it helps the seeds to soak. They germinate faster. They germinate at a better rate. So you have more seeds germinate. Um, and the subsequent plants grow quicker, more vibrant, and they actually yield better, supposedly. So, um... You know, there's all kinds of good stuff to do there, so, um, alright. I'm looking a little crazy this morning because I just got up and, well, you know me, I can't, uh, I do, well, I, I do most of my, my good, um, work in the morning, so. <clears throat> Haven't even had breakfast yet. My throat is all, is all, uh, raspy because, uh. I'm still warming up. Anyway, um, so I'm going to let these seeds soak one day, probably 24 hours, and then I'm going to put them, <coughs> excuse me, in the individual cells. I'm not sure if I'm going to take them out in the greenhouse. I think I will because uh, this week, the rest of this week is supposed to be very warm. I think uh, two days from now it's supposed to be 80. Today it's probably going to go up to 70 or so. And uh, the days are going to be very warm, certainly above freezing. So that is very exciting, very exciting news. I'm hoping that I can go out and plant some potatoes today. <clears throat> it was raining and the, red, the weather was cold and dreary and cloudy. and So I just wasn't trying to do any of that. But um, anyway, I wanted to show you, well first let's show you this. This is um. Uh, Oh man, they're a little wilted. This is my uh, sweet potato. I usually cut the tips off of the sweet potato when I cook them, and I just kind of bury them. This one's not, it's not waking up, but this one did. I think it's actually the same sweet potato. I gotta water that. And um, thanks. <clears throat> I want to show you how well these uh, sweet potato vines are doing. These roots are just 
growing like gangbusters. These are actually probably ready to plant already. <clears throat> Excuse me, and um, but uh, it's still still very cold. Well, I shouldn't say that. It's, it's been cold, but I think that I think I could possibly plant them in the ground even today because it's very warm. It's supposed to be very warm today. And my ginger's not doing anything yet. My uh, pigeon peas are coming along. They're not really doing much, but they're still uh, they're still hanging on. And um, my uh, pineapple is still got roots coming along. I think I'm gonna put that in some soil this week. <clears throat> it's been they're probably it's probably overdue for that. So anyway, um. That's it for now. I don't really have anything else to say. Let me see. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. I have some seedlings that I took outside. And, um... This is the last of what I really want to take outside and prick. Um... So, anyway, so those, those who are concerned about my using up too much energy on that light, that halogen bulb, I think it's 100 watts halogen. I'm turning it off today, so... I think it's only been like... It hasn't been two weeks. I don't know how many days it was, but it wasn't two weeks, so... So, to me, it's fairly inconsequential having it on for that many days, because it's just one bulb. I do actually, most of the time, keep it on for more than 24 hours. I keep it just around the clock. Maybe three days in a row, two or three days in a row. Last night was the second night that I had it on. <clears throat> no, I shut it off the night before, so... Anyway. I should have shut it off last night. I didn't shut it off last night, so... Anyway. I think that's it for now. <laughs> so anyway, um, so I'll, so I'll spare you watching my crazy hair after washing braid my hair. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.